Welcome to the Wasteland News Network. It is July 7th, 2021, and right now all servers are offline for maintenance, and the Steel Rain update should be live in the next few hours. Here are the patch notes for today's new update. So if you're going to start off continuing the Steel Rain quest line, you have to be a player over the level 20 and have completed the best defense. If you've already completed that, you can head right on over to Fort Atlas and meet with Russell Dorsey to begin the quest, A Knight's Penance. Legendary crafting will also be included in this update. Just be warned that any time that you add a legendary core and modules to a weapon, it's going to wipe out everything on that weapon, armor, or if you do a power armor, it's going to wipe it out. So please do not use your legacy or other god roll weapons or armors. And what you will need are legendary cores, which drop from most events. And it should be uh, one core or more. I'll have a video out by tomorrow giving you guys the top three uh, events that give you the most legendary cores. Combine those with legendary modules that you can purchase from the purveyor. And you are set to roll your own legendary items. And here is a short list of legendary power armor that cannot be crafted. They include Auto Revive, Acrobats, Improved Sneaking, Divers, Unyielding, Weightless, and Limb Damage. Those cannot be made on Power Armor. And we will have a brand new scoreboard, the Season 5 scoreboard. Uh, when you hit rank 100, the repeatable XP will only be available to rank 100. But beyond rank 100, there will be specific new challenges available to players who are past rank 100. You will also receive rewards such as perk card packs, legendary crafting components, consumables, in-game atoms, and, and uh, in-game items. So keep track of your score, and once you hit 100, you will continue to get rewards. And we have a brand new merchant. Her name is Minerva, and she is part of the Blue Ridge Caravan Merchant Traders. And you can find her Monday to Wednesday at one of three locations, Fort Atlas, Foundation, or the Crater. She averages about 25% off uh, gold bullion plans. And then in addition to that, she has Minerva's Big Sale, which is a special discount that runs Thursdays through Mondays. So, and you can purchase everything from her uh, with gold, and you do not have had to complete uh, Wastelanders and get access to Vault 79 to purchase items from her. As long as you have gold bullion, shop away. And confirming the changes to our cap limits, gold limits, and script caps max limit has been increased from 30,000 caps to 40,000 caps. Gold bullion, the daily vendor limit that you can cash in, has increased from 200 to 400. And the maximum that you can carry of gold bullion has been increased from 5,000 to 10,000. Your script, your daily vendor that you can cash in at the legendary script machines, has increased from 150 to 300. And the max level for script has been increased from 1,000 to 5,000. I know this is definitely one thing that I'll be taking full advantage of all three of those categories starting as soon as the game goes goes live today. And finally, the prices on additional camp slots and special loadouts. They are purchasable for atoms. You can unlock an additional three camp slots for a total of five, and they are priced at 1,000 atoms per unlock, and an additional 13 special loadouts for a total of 15 loadouts, and they're priced at 500 atoms per unlock. And they're available to all current and future characters on unlocking, uh, and you'll find it in the account category of the Atomic Shop. So there you have a brief overview of what to expect with the next update, Steel Rain Update, Update 28. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to read on into the rest of the detailed patch notes and bug fixes in the description below. And I'll see all of you out in the wasteland 